What's up, everybody? It is Andy Smith, your host with the most 32-year veteran of the comic book industry. And I'm here to say I gave it three issues, guys. I did. I tried. I am done with the new Green Lantern series. I gave it three issues. It, I'm sorry, it's boring. I was really looking forward to it. One, I'm an art guy. As you know, I buy books because of the art. And if there's a great story, I'm hooked. The art is by uh, Zermonico. Forgive me if I pronounce that wrong. This cover is not. This cover is by, um, oh, who's the cover? Let me see the variant artist. There's so many variant artists these days. Um, oh, come on. Oh, Evan Doc Shaner. I do like the cover. I mean, I hate the fact that they charge a buck more because it's a heavier stock and stuff, but... I like the cover. I just wish the inside of this book was exciting. So, if you saw the previous videos I did on issues one and two, uh, my big beef was the book is called Green Lantern, not Hal Jordan. I want to see Green Lantern in costume. I believe in the first issue out of 20 pages, he was on like, he was in costume on like maybe six. Issue two, he was in costume out of 20 pages like maybe five just point is not a lot um so we start off the book Hal Jordan is up in uh the higher atmosphere uh I guess it's still breathable and his ring pooped out on him and he's falling oh no Hal's falling that's fine I don't have a problem with that um you know nice long shot I mean the colors just really worked that uh shot of earth and stuff. Uh, on a side note, I am curious if this is something the artist just drew like the line here indicating the horizon and then left a note for the colors going, give me some beautiful clouds and a, the sun peeking up over because wow. Anyhow, so he's falling, he's falling, he's falling. Oh, his ring, his ring, bling, bam, boom, boom. Oh, he saves himself at the last minute. One, this would have been better if this was on this side of the page. So you have to turn the page for the reveal of him saving himself. Uh, you know, this isn't really splash page worthy. It could have been a big panel right here. And then these four panels, since he's falling to give more of a sense of height, you could have done, or how many, five panels, one, two, three, five, five panels could have been the bottom part here, uh, tall verticals, and then you're like, what's going to happen? Turn the page. He saves himself. Now, I, I, I really do enjoy this guy's artwork, but I'm sorry to say it's comic books, people. This is boring. In a movie, this might be cool, but in a movie, the save himself shot probably would have been him exploding up out at you, and then the camera pulls back to a long shot like this. I would much have preferred a cool shot, uh, same pose even, just really in perspective, flying up at us, showing how far below the ground is from him. Whatever. And then he lands, and he's like, okay, let me see if my constructs still work. And he's like, creates you know another llama or whatever the hell animal that is i don't know i'm not an animal dude and then he makes it change color and stuff and i don't know makes it look real whatever and then you know he's like oh look uh it even you know this this leopard here thinks it's real well we'll just scare the leopard and he flies off okay uh Okay, just whatever, I guess. Um, and then we cut to Coast City. And once again, I got to be honest. I don't, you know, I assume this is full script. Um, as an artist, uh, I would not have chosen half this page to draw these buildings. Yeah, they're cool looking, but... The biggest, coolest thing on this page is this chick getting kicked through this door, right? To me, that should be the biggest thing on the page. 
this could be like here and then these this could be bigger and then that could be the size it is it's comics give me in your face action um you know oh look it's sinestro and he's incognito so he's in regular clothes well he's not dealing obvious with obviously with regular people here i don't know what these aliens are that are working at ferris but Come in in your costume. Who cares? You know, make it exciting. And then, you know, okay, they tries to attack Sinestro, smack, whatever. And then we get this nice shot of who Sinestro is working with. And it's small. And once again, I just go to, there's not a lot of dialogue here. Make that a smaller panel. Eh, make that smaller. Not too much dialogue there. All these panels could have fit up in this real estate. This panel could have been narrow here. This panel could have been really big, at least for some eye candy. It's comic books. I'm about the eye candy. Maybe I'm wrong. And then, you know, just, okay, whatever. We'll work with you. That's not even my point. Still going through. Okay, they're going to some place. To, you know, that's fine. Whatever. Okay, they come out of this cargo thing. For some reason, Sinestro's wearing regular clothes and he's packing heat. I don't know. He doesn't have his ring. Maybe that's it. So he doesn't have a costume anymore. Could he not wear something cooler than just regular Earth clothes? So far, I'm reading this and I'm just kind of, when I read it, I was just kind of like yawning. And then, you know, we get back to. How? Yes! How? Finally, he's in costume. What's he doing? Oh, he's pitching at a Little League game. Okay. Um, he's pitching at a Little League game. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, he, he flies away. He's done. Um, ugh. Make that the coolest shot at least. You know, I, I always think to myself, the biggest panel on the page should be the coolest thing you're looking at. Well, these are the same size panels. That's not that cool. This could have been cool. And, oh, he's out of costume again. Blah, blah, blah with Carol. Getting on a plane. Oh, no, it's Sinestro. What's he doing here? I better go find out. Goes to a bar. I need to get Sinestro. And it ends with the splash page of Sinestro confronting Hal saying, I believe you've been looking for me. Okay. And then there's this backup story with uh, Jon Stewart. He just got his own book again. Uh, I do like this guy's art, Montos. Very cool looking. I don't think the backup story should be more exciting than uh, the lead story, though. Um, so, yeah. So, there we go. So, let's do our count. How many pages is he in costume? One, two, three. Four, five, barely counts, six. And that's it. How many pages is the lead story? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So he's in costume, uh, six pages out of twenty-one. Oh my god. Guys! Oh, no, I'm sorry, 22. He's in costume six times, six pages out of 16, out of uh, 22. I get it. Duh, what is with this slowed down storytelling? Come on. This is not a movie. Stop writing. Yes, is this going to probably wrap up the first story arc by issue six? Probably, because it'll be a trade paperback. And hopefully, that trade paperback Six issues, let's just say 132 pages of story. Good Lord, I hope he starts showing up in costume the last 
three issues of this storyline, and I'm just guessing a lot more so the trade paperback isn't like, oh, he's in costume on 30 pages at 132. It's freaking comic books. I want to read Green Lantern doing stuff. Speed it up. Give me bigger shots. How could be in costume on these pages more? I, apparently, it's known that he's Hal Jordan's Green Lantern. So if that's the case, stay in costume here, you know? Or just, oh, just so frustrating. Anyhow, that's my rant. It's over. I'm done buying Green Lantern. So I'm saving four bucks more a month. And uh, that is that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please check out Core Drath The Reckoning. It's coming down in a few weeks. We are over 92,000, including the Indiegogo and Kickstarter combined totals. Working towards 100 grand to unlock the four page Bud Root story. He is working on page four. The story's looking beautiful. Click the links below, go check it out. And uh, like, subscribe, and share. Tally ho, everybody. Bye bye.